I, Hassan Wario Arero. That was the beginning of what was to be a bumpy sailing ship full of hope. Do you swear that I will at all times. The time captain, Hassan Wario, is today a man on the spot following numerous misses in the sports department. Way before the Rio Olympics, there was this incident. The Rambe Stars were stranded at the Wilson Airport awaiting to board a chartered flight to Cape Verde for the return leg of the 2018 World Cup qualifier. In a day full of drama, the players had earlier refused to leave camp unless their outstanding allowances were fully settled. Now once the dues were settled, it turned out the plane they were to use had not been paid for and yet millions of shillings had allegedly been released for that same purpose. The bungle trip saw officials including Wario questioned of alleged misappropriation of the funds. We wired the money. The management of that money and the management of the team is the business of the Federation. And then there was the clumsy attempt to get out of a possible WADA ban from the Rio Olympics due to lack of compliance. Kenya had to publish the anti-doping bill 2016 in a rush to beat an international deadline set by the World Anti-Doping Agency. The bill was formally introduced in Parliament for debate five days to the expiry of the April 5th deadline. This coming after Kenya had already missed the initial February deadline. The president assented to the bill into law only for WADA to declare it non-compliant to its code despite assurances from Wario that his office had everything covered. The goof saw the president ask the Foreign Affairs Cabinet Secretary to tidy up the mess with WADA in Canada. The government has sought an urgent meeting with WADA to review the few remaining areas of concern and secure a review of its decision. After amendments and special seatings in the National Assembly, the President assented the bill to law once again. Then there's the Rio Olympics came up and another crisis befell the Kenyan team right from the start. From missing tickets to joyriders outnumbering the athletes and bribery allegations and officials being sent home. Such behaviors, you know, and uh, it shouldn't happen again. The crisis escalated to an extent that government will launch an inquiry into the Rio mishaps. Such things are quite a disservice to a very committed athletes who spend a lot of time preparing. That aside, another age-old scandal cropped up. Kits. The athletes complained of being given only two types of kits, which were substandard. Nike says it delivered all the required kits in time. There have been allegations that the official kit always ends up in the market under unclear circumstances. Amid all these allegations, the sports CS has always found an answer, drawing heavily from his school career as a school actor to get away with almost anything. Traditionally, the national team trains in the stadium behind me, but the focus is going to shift from this place to the August House, where the Parliamentary Committee on Labor and Social Welfare is expected to probe the mishaps that bedevil the management of this team that went to Rio Olympics and also make public the names of the officials who traveled to Rio, why and when. But that is not the only issue. The Deputy President has also directed the Sports Cabinet Secretary Hassan Wario to launch a probe into the Nike Kate scandal. But critics wonder how Wario would be able to probe the same ministry he's the head of. In fact, they say the buck stops with him and he should take responsibility first. Trevor Ombija, NTV.